Next question, question 29. If for a sample data, mean is less than, median is less than mode, then the distribution is. Options are symmetric, B skewed to the right, C neither symmetric nor skewed, D skewed to the left. So in this question, there are three terms used. Uh, these are concepts from uh, statistics. So if you are not familiar, it will be a difficult question. Um, so usually we don't see such questions in CSAT. <coughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, so for people who don't know what mean, median and mode are, mean is the average number of, the average of all the values. So to get the average, we first sum all the values, sum of all values. We take sum of all values by number of values. So this is how we find mean. So if you have a set of numbers, it is the average value. Uh, we call uh, is the average value we find out by sum of all values by number of values is what we call mean. This is what mean is. Now median is uh, if uh, applicable for uh, a listed number of uh, sorry ordered number of uh, um, values. So if we have say a set of values, we first uh, order it in an increasing order. So say from the small s1, s2, s3, we arrange till sn, say uh, sn numbers we have. The middle value, sn by 2, if we arrange in such a manner from smallest to largest, this middle value will be called median. This is the median. And mode is... Uh, so median, uh, oh, oh, so I will just, uh, in this case, what will be the, I will just say what is mean also. In this case, mean will be S1 plus S2 plus till Sn by N. This will be mean. And mode will be S, uh, the Sn, uh, not Sn by 2, it is S of n by 2. This is what median is. So to find the median, we first have to order it and pick the middle number. And what is mode? Mode is the most frequent number that appears in the list of numbers. So if you, uh, if you arrange the, those numbers by frequency, so say we have, uh, this is frequency. It appears one time, two time, three time, four time, five time. We have such frequencies. And the numbers here, it can be in any order. F for simplicity sake, we first arrange the number in the listed, uh, in the increasing order only. One, three, three, five, six. We have all the numbers. In we don't represent the numbers multiple times. We just uh, represent it one time. So. We have all the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, say. We have all the numbers and 1 appears, say, 2 times. Okay. And 3 appears 5 times, say. And 5 appears uh, 1 time. And 7 appears 4 times. Uh, I was trying to draw a bar graph here. So I think it is getting confusing. So, okay, uh, this is frequency, number of time it appears, this is the values, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, say these are the numbers that appears in our set, set of numbers, so say 1 appears 3 times, and 3 appears five times and five appears two time seven appears one time and nine appears two time so this is the frequency of the given set of numbers as you can see most appeared number is three frequency five so we will our uh, so the most appearing number is the uh, mode so if we have multiple numbers say we have 10, which appears 
five times then that means we have two numbers as mod 3 and 10 so the most appearing number in the list of numbers is the mod uh, and mean is sum by total number of numbers and me median is when we list to, when we arrange their numbers in an ordered manner the middle number that is the median so this is the concept of mean median and mode now uh, given that is covered now we will see the question uh, just move all this sorry let me just remove all this now question is for a sample data mean is less than median is less than mode so in such information we draw frequency value curve so there are two possible three possible shapes one is this one appears like a bell bell curve something like this it could appear like this this is a proper symmetric uh, distribution symmetric distribution is a distribution such that if if we can draw a vertical line vertical line such that it splits all the data it's a frequency value curve right in this curve if if you if any vertical line it need not have to be exactly in the middle so if if we draw any vertical line and that that uh, divides the two uh, the divides the graph into two equal parts then equal it is called symmetric graph in such a graph uh, this value the value that is in the middle this value okay this will be mean equal to median equal to mode why if you if you add up all the numbers and divide with n the, you get this value that will be the mean and median since when we arrange the list uh, in the ordered manner uh, the middle number this number will come in the exact middle so that that is why it is also the median and mode it, since it is the largest frequency number with largest frequency this number will also become the mode so mean equal to median equal to mode this happens for a symmetric distribution so uh, since it is given mean is less than median is uh, less than mode it it is not a symmetric distribution so a is a false answer it is not the answer so we will see another graph frequency value so in this graph as you can see no vertical line will divide this graph into two equal symmetric parts so this is not symmetric so it is a skewed graph so in in such graphs there is a name this is the tail part right if the tail part uh, that is that elongated part and this is a tapered side this is a tail part and this is a tapered which is uh, sharp falling sharply and this is falling smoothly and elongated and this is the tail part if the tail part is in the left side it is called skewed to left if the tail part appears in the right side just like this it is called q to right so these are the two type of skewedness that we usually see so skew to left and skew to right uh, so to see we, um, we, to which side it is skewed we see where the tail part lies the, this is the tail part and it is uh, it, it is on its left side so we say skew to left and this is skew to right so in this if we draw mean median and mode as you can see median is the uh, sorry mode is the number which appears uh, which has the highest frequency so highest frequency number is this so this is mode the number with highest frequency is called a mode and so this is the mode 
and the average value of this will come somewhere like this this will be mean mean value so average value so if you see in the total values this will be the mean value and uh, in the in such a distribution uh, median will lie somewhere here sorry somewhere here will, this will be the median if you arrange it in a um, ordered list the middle value that will be the median so it will come somewhere like this and in this graph also if you see this will be the the frequency and value graph uh, here this will be the highest frequency number will be mode and average value will come here somewhere like this which will be mean and median will come where somewhere like this this is how mean median will come you can try drawing a graph uh, so this is this is what happens in skew to left and skew to right uh, sorry skew to right graph so the given information is mean is less than median is less than mode so that condition is hap happens at in this graph skew to left graph that is mean mean is value wise mean is less than median is less than mode mode has the highest value and median and mean so in this given information mean is less than median less than mode it applies to skew to left graph so d is the correct option so as i said if you are not familiar with the concept of mode median and mean and uh, what is skew to left and skew to right these are all terms usually uh, studied by people who learn statistics so if you are not familiar with such concepts it will be a very difficult question mm, uh, such questions rarely appear in c set so you don't have to worry uh, and go and study all the concepts in statistics and all um, if uh, you can skip this question if you don't know this there will be lot of plenty of other questions that you can use to clear the exam um, so anyway if you want to study this uh, this is the concept so solution to question 29 is d skew to left